Yo! Video games. Ghost in the Shell 1, I think, has some amazing sequences. I don't know, I like the premise of it, but I don't think it's a great movie. Like, I love the animation and the, I like the quality idea of, it. of it. The concept is great, yeah, the concept right? Is the concept of transferring your soul, kind of, through, like, yeah. machinery. I think that's where technology is headed anyway. Right? I think that's really fucking cool, but the movie's pretty slow. It's slow. It's it's a wordy. Yeah, it's very. And the wordy. sequel is even yeah. more, more slow. wordy. Yeah, it's, it's very it's very intellectual. It's like a very fucking. I mean, I think that's... Yeah, I mean, I, it's regardless of it being intellectual, there's some deep shit in it, but yeah, super it does deep not shit. make for a great film. Yeah, like I feel like yes, for some people, and great if you just like seeing characters just in, in an animation just talk to each other over the shoulder shot repeatedly, repeatedly, yeah. something interesting happens after thirty minutes. Yeah, and then. Yeah, like there's something. Not a lot happens. That's where a lot of dramas in the early '90s were like. Like it was just a lot of people talking, and then like, like at the end of the show, something cool would happen. In the, yeah. Like the A team. I think like, Akira was, is a good example. Like Akira, the story is fucking really hard to follow, but there's a lot of shit happening in the film, like all the time. Yeah. So the characters are either always going someplace, trying to find someone, doing this one thing, figuring this out, blowing that shit up, doing this, moving there. World, my arm. Blah, tetsuo, the end. You know, I, I, I think the difference between those two is that Ghost in the Shell kind of just makes you think about the future and how things would actually turn out. Yeah. I don't know. I just like a very specific pacing to certain films. Yeah. And uh, well, how did you think that? What did you What did you think of uh, the Superman uh, Man of Steel movie? Kenny would say new no. one. Yeah. It was enter okay. The new Superman movie was entertaining the first time I watched it. I thought it was actually pretty good. Yeah. The second time I realized how bad it was. Ooh. Ah. Uh, and I did not like it very much after seeing it a second time. Okay, you can stop talking. Now. <laughs> it's not good. It was Dragon Ball Z. After oh, I have a fucking thing. The second time I saw it, I was kind of like, "Wow, this is actually still going." Damn, Snake. Snake's having a tough time. I had a little pixelated ass rail. I couldn't see For it. For me, dude, that show was like watching an episode. I could have flipped over it and just twin snakes. How many times have you seen it, Kenny? Uh, New Superman? I've seen it twice, and then I just watched the, but you're talking the last to a, 45 minutes. But you're talking to a guy that loves Batman Returns. So. Batman Returns is, is, a, is an interesting film. It's not a good Batman film. Yeah. But it's crazy. Um, it's it's crazy. I it's think, like, okay, Batman Returns, like, like, it's not a good film, I guess. It's interesting to watch. Like, um, the way Danny Elfman wrote a, a like, a, a symphony because, um, like, the soundtrack's really, like, interesting how, like, he didn't write it, like, for specific moments. He wrote, like, a symphony for, like, a like a movement or a play. And that's how the soundtrack weaves in and out. And it's kind of interesting just to see, like, these weird fucking, like, just world he creates with, like, the penguin in the sewer and shit like that. So it's very bizarre. So it's kind of got, like, that... Michelle Fiverr does a really good job as Catwoman. She's <laughs> really interesting. I mean, it's it's interesting to watch and look at, but like Shrek if you're is really interesting. if you're a comic fan, I can see why you would hate it because it's, it's it's not just, Batman at all. Yeah, it, it, like it, you know, it's one of those things where like it is the Tim first Burton's one was super Batman. successful, so they basically said, Tim, you can do whatever you want. Tim did and what he wanted. Tim honest, Burton hates comics, so to be honest, like the, even even the first Batman movie was kind of loose. Yeah, on its interpretation of what Batman yeah. was at the time, it was pretty loose. It was kind of Tim Burton's Batman. And then Tim Burton's Batman 2, which was Batman Returns, was kind of like Tim Burton kind of doing whatever the fuck he wants. So, I don't know, I kind of I kind of really like it. It's, it's funny how... Batman just threw, kill a guy and throw him down a sewer with a grenade in his mouth. It's funny how Tim Burton was on the top of his game and then all of a sudden he just went downhill with every other movie out of him. Well, he's got older. Yeah. You know, I don't changed. think he cares. When he makes like a billion dollars for a piece of shit film, he's just kind of like... Yeah. Yeah, the same like, kind yeah. of the same kind of happened to Steven Spielberg, you know. It's like Steven Steven even said this. He's like his ideology regarding characters and how they act in film, and he said a lot changed after he had kids. Ah. Like a lot of the things that he believed in in films. Simmons is playing the game right now, by the way, guys. He's warming the card. Um, changed after he had children, so a lot of the character protagonists that were in the films he had just weren't there anymore. He didn't care. He didn't. He didn't find them interesting yeah. as he did when he was single and not a father. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you, you remember when we were filming Assist Me? It was like I think the second season, and there was like a fight sequence we had to film. We had to film a shot for a part of a fight sequence, mm -hmm. and I was sitting there half doom costume, and I'm like I just sit there and I'm like kind of really tired at this point, and you're like Simmons, come on, we gotta shoot this, let's go. And I sit there and I said. I'll kill you momentarily. All I need is a cold glass of water. Oh, ice like, water. water. <laughs> like yeah. I reached out and grabbed a cup of ice water. And, like, <laughs> and then, like, it took you a while. 
And then you were like, then you were like, did Sanders just fucking quote Danny DeVito? <laughs> That's a returns. fucking penguin. <laughs> I'll bear with you momentarily. I'll kill you momentarily. For first, I need a cold glass of ice water. <laughs> <laughs> he died. <laughs> Such a good death scene. Danny DeVito killed it as the fucking penguin, dude. Like that. What was that one line where he's like talking to the. Oh, the yeah. Like that. After he bit the dude's nose, nose off. off. Oh, yeah. Soul Reaver, thank you so much, dude. See, everything you guys are explaining is a reason why they didn't want to make a, another one after that, because it was just so fucking dark. Well, they were, but Tim backed out. Yeah. Tim didn't want to do it. Oh, really? Yeah. Something about it. He just he was doing something else. and He was a producer on. on and to be honest, forever, but he was, wasn't very was Batman Bur Forever better than Batman Returns? No. No. Was Batman and Robin better than Batman Forever, which is better than Batman Returns? No and no. Mm -hmm. Like, holy shit. I, said, I like the movie. It's interesting to watch, but like I can see why if you're a Batman fan, it's like, this movie's crap. Has anybody seen... Like, it's, uh, not, it's, not, it's like a completely unfaithful take on the character. Anybody see uh, Birdman yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah we saw Birdman was great. No, it's, uh, it's, it's a great film very, to show how if you just like, fucked up actors are. If you just like characters... Like a character story, that's all it is. Yeah. It's just characters and people. There's a good example it was of something that's like... It was an homage to the fact that he was Batman, right? Well, it Not, helps. It, it, you it, kind it, of sit there and think about it, but I guess. It helps, but it's... The, the character that Michael Keaton portrays is exactly not him. Yeah. Uh, like, in any way at all. Okay, okay. Um, so He's almost more Iron Man, because they did, like, oh, Batman 3, and they're trying to get him to do Birdman 4. Yeah, they are talking yeah. about Robert Downey Jr. in the movie. Uh, the, um... Yeah, the crazy thing about Birdman is that well, as I was just talking about like characters talking, 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 you know, yeah, and, like yeah. losing interest. That's all Birdman is. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, talking. People talking. And there's, yeah. there's enormous there's a, strong. There's okay. a difference between characters talking and then it being interesting, and then characters just spitting information at each other, which happens in the Ghost in the Shell movies. It's it's interesting they when just we get shoot info at each other. It's not that Max. I mean, they they talk about uh, the the future of consciousness it, it, in the human I mean what is the human soul yeah. and they they, and they, they, and they, they talk about that. a lot of other dead. very specific oh, details yeah. so I don't know I just I, I think I love characters talking to each other when you have when you have two characters talking to each other and it's interesting it's yeah of course yeah fucking like I was I was ridiculously captivated by the opening scene of Django which is just dudes talking to each other mm -hmm. like for some oh, fucking yeah. reason man when 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 it's he just, makes his films, it's dark as shit. You can't really see much, and it's just oh, it's just talking. It's so good. Like just just any of um Tarantino's movies where characters are just speaking to each other. Uh, I can Pulp watch Fiction. the whole fucking. Pulp Fiction was a good one. Uh, Dude, yeah, it, was, it starts out with the, them just sitting at the, the, in the, the dining room, yeah, just talking about shit. So, and they actually had a good conversation. Like it was, it actually. Yeah, was I'm a tricky. I'm a big fan of if you can make just two people talking, just. I'm, I'm, by, by the time it's over, I'm like, holy fuck, what is going to happen? Yeah, yeah. That's amazing to me. Um, and it, all, it really depends on three things. The writing, directing, actually four things. The editing, the score, five things, and the performance of the actors. Like, there's so many fucking things that have to go perfectly well to actually make that work. Bastards, when he was the milk scene, he was trying to find the, not, uh, the Jews in the house. Yeah. That scene was pretty Yeah, the, the intensest and shit opening to Inglorious Bastards. And it was just fucking dialogue. And yeah, they were just talking, because yeah. he knew that, okay, he's like, yeah, yeah. He, was, he was like, hey. That shit was pretty sexy. So are you going to tell me that those people are down there? No, yeah, because I don't want to yeah. kill they don't, you. They don't understand. That was intense. Yeah. That was very intense. The, the conversation between they had was just fucking pin drop, man. Yeah, I do like, I think, I think, I honestly do believe that Aliens is the best movie ever made. Yeah. And, um, guess what happens for the first 50 minutes of Aliens? <laughs> Nothing. Man, I, I fucking, Nothing. I remember years it's ago. It's super interesting. Years ago, I invited my, my friend Indy to my house, and we, we went to Blockbuster when it was still a thing. We rented a couple movies, and he had never seen Die Hard, never seen Aliens, so I showed him Die Hard, and then we're watching Aliens. Die Hard's an action-packed yeah. movie the whole so time. So we're watching Aliens at like midnight, one in the mornings when we started. And I was, I bought, I got the director's cut. And he was sitting there and he was like, are there actually any aliens in this film? Is there any aliens He in was this like film? falling yeah. asleep because it was like three by the time they actually got down to Hadley's Hope. Exactly. And he's like, is, this, is there so, actually any So the funny thing about I was aliens. Like, no, 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 there is, trust me. I, I didn't lie to you. That's what I love about the film is that the, it, it spends 50 minutes building tension and explaining what's going on, but it has ridiculously interesting characters talking to each other and explaining this throughout the whole time. And they're investigating stuff, and what happens the first time they get on Hadley's Hope? They infiltrate the place and nothing happens. They look for aliens and they find a little girl. And it's like, well, 
fuck. Well, we gotta go find- we gotta look elsewhere. And that's like 50 minutes into the film until you actually see some aliens. And I love that sequence because not a lot happens, um, film-wise, like, cinem cinematography-wise. It's just edited extremely well. You know when dialogue doesn't work? Uh, I would say Kill Bill. Like, there was the dialogue towards the end where she was talking like, uh, uh, you know, the- Yeah. The, the, the back, like, I was not a fan of the Kill Bill movies. Yeah, it didn't, uh... You didn't know what? Talk about anything. I think, um... Uh, I think this has to do with Uma Thurman. I don't. I'm not a big oh, fan Uma, of Uma Thurman. Because she's not a martial artist. Well, Why is she not a martial artist? Not even that. She, yeah, she's not a martial artist. Not well, even, that's it. That's it. I don't find you her. Can, you can learn it. I don't find her acting all too interesting when she's like talking. It's not very. You know, you know who Uma Thurman was, was, was oh, fucking good at? It was like the, the queen in House of Cups. Like, yeah. that commanding sort of As role. As a voice artist, it wasn't bad. It was like, yeah, she's really good in this role. Like, so yeah. people are asking us about. Godzilla, Snake thought he deactivated it. He got fucked. We let this roll out because this is this is where. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to wait. Here's a good scene, guys. He's like, speaking of Superman, he literally pulls a Clark Kent here. Master, oh, it's Superman. Here we go. Get ready for it. And even activated the warhead for us too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. Brother! What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the encounter, thanks to Fox Dye. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Uh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? In case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Very close. Close Snake, by. that's not Master Miller. No shit! <laughs> You're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother! Da, 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 da. It's hilarious. He turns into Superman. How the? You've served your purpose. You may die now. God damn it, Liquid! Why are you the best bad guy ever? <laughs> Actually, you I got, I got, I may died here die now. Times. He gave me permission. Otacon, help me! I'm about to die. You got the Brother! 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 You open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. That's how you gotta do it. And he calls you, and he calls you, and he calls you. So yeah, what are we talking about? Aliens? What? Uh, you were saying that the aliens and, you know, and then the Google Yeah, Google like, not a lot happens in aliens. Like, yeah. Uh, but the dialogue, the dialogue. But the fucking and yeah. And we went on to Kill Bill's dialogue, which was shit. So yeah, well, well yeah, that's, that's what you're talking about. Shit on a stick. You just got bored of it. Yeah, I mean, but it wasn't. I mean, I just don't think it was as captivating. I yeah. think it's really up to the actors, and 
Uma Thurman doesn't have that kind of stage screen presence as some of the other actors do. I don't do. think she's banging Quentin Tarantino like crazy, and that's why she got all his parts from his fucking movies anyway. Oh, we were talking about Godzilla! Um, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. It's that's just an opinion, snake. but that new Godzilla movie was Speaking awful. Like my oh my god, yeah, it was. Like, really, Every, I really didn't like it. Everybody <laughs> unsubscribe. You, you and me were like, there's just the end of the like, oh. I, I, I guess. <laughs> with, with a half an hour left in the film, I, I looked at Simmons and I'm like, this is terrible. <laughs> and he's, you're like, you're like, yeah. And then we actually have people walk out of the fucking theater. Just because it's just schlock. It's just, there's some cool shit, right? Godzilla's and dinosaurs fighting. And monsters battling each other. And Godzilla going, Wah! giving them the laser and stuff. It's all very neat when that happens. But holy crap. It has the worst. Human characters yeah. <laughs> I've seen in a film outside of the uh, outside of what's his name in the beginning. Oh yeah, yeah, Brian they should have killed the yeah. Killed when Brian Cranston, Cranston dies, the movie <laughs> is done. The movie died. The movie is done. <laughs> Just put it DOA. It's done. Just put it in a body bag at that point. Along with the bodies of the children. Like, yeah, I was, he was the only actor that felt like he was even trying. Like, that was my yeah. problem. Is that I only go into movies to, like, care. Yeah. And I stopped caring after he died. Are you telling me now? I think the Japanese guy was trying to, but he didn't have much. Dude, here's, okay, Ken Watanabe, yeah. here's my impression of him the entire movie. He has this ridiculously good actor. He has this dumbfounded look the entire time, like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no! <laughs> That's him the entire film. Yeah. Oh my god. I would rather. I would, like, that's like the, the worst old face. Oh no! Who the fuck was oh, the main no. actor in that movie? He like no offense, but he. God, no my god. The guy from Kickass. Was yeah, that was it. Yeah, Kickass, and it was just kind of like, oh my god, you're so bad. And then his wife was one of the Olsen's older sisters, and like she was pretty bad. So. And like they tried to make you really, really care about him and his wife again. Nobody cared. It was like. Oh and then the random kid in the in the train that he was like he was like yeah, yeah like all like nobody gave a shit like I mean uh, yes the kid and, and we gotta just save the kid kept going and and it save the kid kept going you gotta go save the kid and I'm like this movie could have ended three times and when they kept doing that thing where they're like oh we're gonna tease you here's Godzilla we're off screen yeah that was or like really maybe weird. you can see a bit of the battle on a news feed in the background like we're gonna save it all for the last fight and the last fight's cool and guess what the last fight's awesome the last fight's cool for like the the five or ten minutes it goes on for and then it's over and you're like back to these you have more humans. sympathy for Godzilla than any of the human characters in the film yeah you do yeah it's that's like kind of to be kind of bad to be fair it's very difficult to make a movie surrounded or, or just completely surrounded with Godzilla. you have to have some human characters you have to have if you want okay look if you want to see a good brainless fun Godzilla movie watch fucking Final Wars um, it was directed by the guy who did all the cutscenes for Twin Snakes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just an action movie. When there's humans, it's like this super fucking, like, Neo Special Forces Godzilla squad. Yeah. And they're fighting these human aliens. And when they're on screen, they're doing martial arts. When Godzilla was awful! Uh -huh. When the humans are not on Thank screen, you, it's just Godzilla going around the world killing all these other monsters. Well, this is all happening. it is. <laughs> well, establish what's happening right now. Snake and Liquid are genetic twins. They're test tube babies crafted to be soldiers. But what ended up happening was that Snake ends up being the perfect baby. At least it wasn't Broderick! That's, yeah. Snake ends up being the perfect no. baby soldier, and Liquid ends up being the genetic byproduct that is like the, the, the inferior. That's why he, that's why Liquid is so pissed. He's the inferior brother. Twins. Yeah. The movie twins. True, exactly. Yeah. No, exactly. I, I actually. You know, I actually liked 98 Godzilla more because it was so, it was so bad. Stupid, it's bad. It was yeah. so super terrible. It was kind of an. It was like a train wreck. Bad. Like. It was like Street Fighter the movie. Yes, this is, good. This is like so fucking bad it's good. awful. It's like MK vs. DC it. bad. Yeah. I can't believe they did this. And the new guys are just like boring. It's slow. I think that's what the new Taken is gonna be like. It's gonna be so.